Going backwards uh, a week, it was certainly a disappointing loss uh, at UTSA last week in the Alamo Dome. We felt like we went out and probably played in the first half our most complete game of football. Uh, offense, defense, special teams. We've been talking about how we really haven't put anything together early in the season. The offense was playing really well. Later, as with the seasons progressed, our defense has gotten better and better. But it was time that everybody showed up, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. And I thought in the first half, outside of the red zone execution with the offense, I thought that um, I thought really it was probably our most complete game to date for a half. Uh, we came out in the second half, <clears throat> and they they started with a 16-play drive. Um, then we threw a completion for about 15 yards, had a fumble. Defense had to go back out. Then the defense had to pick six. Then the defense had to go back out, and I think we only had about five plays in the third quarter as a, as an offense. And then when we came back out in the fourth quarter, uh, I, I did not feel like offensively we responded to the pressure. They made some adjustments at halftime and that we were efficiently running the ball and throwing it. And I thought they came out and said, we're going to take away the running game and we're going to make them beat us with the passing game. And we had a, we had a hard time um, really moving the football at that point as an offense. Our defense was on the field an awful long time. We gave up two big plays. I think we did the three things in the second half we said we couldn't do to lose the football game, and that was turn the ball over and put our defense in poor field position and give up big plays. And we gave up a big play pass and a big play run for a touchdown, and those are things you can't do and win. Um, I think some of the um, – some of the things as a football team, we've still got to get some things straight. I think there's some, a lot of positive things to build on. I think defensively, Milton Williams continues to get better and better. Uh, I think the play of our three linebackers right now is as good as any three linebackers that we've had since I've been here. You've got Tyler Grubbs is leading the country in tackles uh, as a true freshman. And Trey Baldwin is fifth in the country in tackles, and he's missed a game and a half. And so I think when you when you look at it, it's just uh, there's positive things to build on, but we're just we're not we're not there yet. We're not a complete team. We are still a work in progress. We've got to get better at the corner position. We've got to we've got to get more production out of our offensive line and our running game uh, and our passing game. We've just got we got a lot of areas that we really need to improve. Um, but I think we're close in some areas, but we got to get better. Uh, without a doubt. Just a very frustrating loss. Coming off that loss, um, a lot of pain in the locker room, a lot of hurt, obviously, losing a one-point game on the road when you had a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter. Both sides of the ball had an opportunity to preserve it, and we weren't able to get it done. Um, we come back this week, and it doesn't get any easier as we play UAB, who has um, they have two losses, both to teams outside the conference. They have one of the best defenses, not only in our conference, but in the country. When you look, I believe there's six categories that they're ranked in the top 25 in the country in. Uh, they've got eight returning starters on both sides of the ball. Uh, they, they're, they fit with what they do. They play a very aggressive, uh, physical style of play on both sides of the ball. Their strength to their defense is their defensive line. Um, and I think their strength on offense is their, their offensive line and their running game. They have two running backs. They're very, very talented. They control the ball, and they, they've won a lot of low-scoring games with what they do. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. It doesn't get any easier. Um, this football team right now, I know, you know, it's like, well, where do you fit in the conference? I think we just right now, our biggest concern, we got to get, we got to keep improving. This is a crazy time. We, we probably are right now as healthy as we've been from a COVID standpoint uh, and that we haven't had a player test positive in two weeks, which means we're going to have everybody back. Um, the unfortunate part is some of them have been out for three weeks, and so uh, it's a little hard to get back into the mix, but we've got to worry about us. we just got to keep getting better uh, as a football team, and if we can continue to do that, then we'll see how good we can be by the end of the year, but right now we're a long way away from being the quality football team that we want to be.